So they have released quite a bit of information about upcoming updates, and although singularly they're not much to talk about, putting them all together makes for an entertaining video. So here we are. Hey you beautiful Buccaneers, Falcor here. So although the seas have been somewhat quiet as of late with no form of content coming our way, we are now in the home stretch for the Monkey Island crossover coming this Thursday on July 20th. Which by the way comes with a whole host of new Pirate Emporium updates such as a pocket seagull emote that poops, a very nice looking ship set based on LeChuck's flagship, and of course, a LeChuck curse costume for everyone to wear, which comes in varying forms. With beard, without beard, with curse, without curse. And of course, the most iconic item to be added for any diehard Monkey Island fan, a piranha poodle pet. So you too can spend literal hours trying to figure out how to get past them at 2 a.m. at night, sneaking onto your dad's PC. And that's an inside joke. Thank you. New third-party lore has also been updated outside of the game. You can now get yourself a digital copy of the Origins comic book titled The Champion of Souls, with a brand new chapter called The Servant's Tale, combined into one illustrative journal, which is a nice way of saying comic book for people over the age of 12. But moving back to the Monkey Island crossover coming on July 20th, Mr. Chapman and other developers have been very vocal over on social media, teasing us with info about the new set of tall tales coming. So as a little frequently asked questions crap PowerPoint presentation, let me hopefully answer a few of your queries. There will be three tall tales spread over three months, the last ending in September. The first tall tale will take part on Melee Island and other islands from the game's franchise may make an appearance. The tall tales will take part within the Sea of the Damned, away from other players. Each tall tale follows the storyline of the original games, trapped in the memories of Guybrush Threepwood. The tall tales will be some of the biggest tall tales made for the game, and the most intricate, giving the player a lot more tasks to complete and figure out, resulting in a much larger playtime than previous tall tales. There will be next to no sailing involved. Most of the steps take place on the islands. Voice actors and characters from the original games will be present throughout, giving fans of the Monkey Island franchise a nostalgic adventure. There will be a crossover with a main storyline of some caliber. We just don't know what yet. An Apex Gaming PC. It's time! You ever think to yourself, you know what, I love my Xbox for playing Sea of Thieves, but I also want to play games in 4K on a 56-inch 200Hz gaming monitor, wearing Ray-Bans and looking like a chat, and also want to purchase high-quality games for low prices on the Steam market? No! Well, that's your mistake. Grab yourself a brand new spanking PC with Apex Gaming PCs. Unsure what to get? No need to worry! Apex Gaming PCs have you covered telling you what rigs run what games. Or you could just make your own rig and blaze the highways of UHD ultra-fast FPS. Links down below and use code FALCOR to save some money. The focus for this new set of tall tales is to follow that puzzle-solving feeling that the original games gave you, opposed to the very holdy hand nature of previous tall tales, which is especially true for the Pirate's Life tall tales, there will be no compass showing which direction to go, or big glowy mass on the horizon pointing the direction. It'll literally be an island with a whole bunch of NPCs, and the idea is, here's the island, figure it out, you muppet. Very much looking forward to these new tall tales, and although some may disagree, it's okay to be wrong. I think it's fantastic that they're spread out rather all at once. It will constantly give us something to look forward to, and of course, speculate as to what comes next. I'm excited to not only see old Monkey Island fans experience them, but also excited to see players who have never experienced the Monkey Island world get their feet dirty for the first time. Now, moving on from that, SOT Fest happened recently, and yes, I did attend, and yes, it was an amazing experience, even though I got very drunk with some other streamers and fans the night previous and had to leave early because I was very sick. <sighs> But during a Q&A with content creators Loki Jimmy and Leator with Mike Chapman, he revealed something very interesting, not about upcoming Season 10, but about Season 11. We haven't talked about Season 11 yet, so... Oh! oh. Season 11, so we focused very much on 
PvP, bringing players together using, using the hourglass. Um, but the, the PvP that you feel in the world, organic PvP, yeah. it feels different, right? It's, it's got a completely different identity. I prefer it. Yeah. Yep. Totally understandable. It's a different vibe, feels different. We are doing something specifically in that area for mm. Season 11. So, ways that we can, like the idea of sharing a treasure hunt and going out there and encountering people with a little bit of curation. So, yeah, that's cool. going to be, I'm really looking forward to that. So it sounds like a new shared mission is coming to Sea of Thieves for Season 11, which really unlocks so many questions about how this will work within the game world. Still very early days yet to even begin speculating on this. Plus, you know, we have to wait for Season 10 to come out first. How many years has Season 9 been going on now? Come on, guys! I just wanted to take a few moments to say thank you to everybody for their support. It's amazing to have so many fans and put out content which is enjoyed by many. I simply wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys. As cliche as it sounds, you guys are the reason why I keep doing this. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much. But I cannot continue to do this if you don't click this button. Right here. You just click that button there. That's all that happens. Yeah, I, I know, I know, you probably see the videos in the feed anyway. Like, you know, what's the point in clicking subscribe? It's, uh, you know, what's the point? Hey, click the subscribe button. Just click it right there, look, just click it. Say yes, subscribe. You don't have to do the bell. You don't have to do the bell part, you don't need to do. I mean, I would like you to do the bell. Do the, but you don't need to, just, just need to, to hit the subscribe. That's all you need to do. So, it doesn't cost you anything, does it? Just sit there, sit in there, watching people's videos. Probably don't even do it with me. Probably do it with other people as well. You know what I mean? You sit there, oh no, watch the video. Nobody's gonna talk about it.